have complete silence with the music. We'll introduce you to the riders. Line up in final number one. The first final, the boys, 14 years. Riders ready, watch the game. Who's got the speed to take the lead? Looking good was the 71 by the pure rider. One is McDallans, leads this one out. Has he got the grip round the first corner? Yes, he has. Here comes Australia, chasing him down. The 70 by of Jordan Callum. Ecuador there for Guerrero. He's in free, but one is McDallans. He's been winning every lap all day long. Here comes Howarth from Australia. McDallans and Howarth into the last turn. Who's it going to be? And we got fallen riders here. McDallans and Howarth coming down the last straightaway. Howarth's going to take it, is he? Here comes McDonald's for two. Oh, it's going to be Howard from Australia. McDonald's for two with Guerrero for three. Wow, what a race from Howard. And the fallen riders there, Sebastian Pantley, Great Britain. Okay, second final of the day. 15 boys lining up on the gate. Riders ready, watch the gate. Argentina was the first to show. Looking good was Gasparoli from Italy as well. So Argentina leads it out. Tatona has he won most of his laps? Yes, he has. But look at Gasparoli. He's hot on his tail. Goose is there for free for Holland. So at the moment, Argentina, Italia, one and two. Holland in three. Italy in four at the moment. And they got a bit of work to do because the three at the front are clearing the rest. It's Tadonna at the moment. In and out that last turn. Tadonna, uh, Gasparoli, and Goose one, two, and three. He here comes your 15 boys challenge jab. It's going to be the Argentina rider. It's going to be Gianni Dodonna. Dodonna takes a win. Wow. Good stuff here from the boys 15 years old. Good scenes on the finish line. Good racing. Clean racing from these guys. You see, well challenged. Your attention for the 16 boys. Shh, 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 shh. Good luck. Alrighty then, who's got the speed? Looks like the Latvian on the inside. Rosenkranz is there on the... Oh, the Colombians trying to go around the inside. Look at him go. So Latvia out in front. We got uh, Hassan from France there on the two. He's your current number one. Satian Luhisan. Luhisan has been chased hard. Bruce Lukas is there. New Zealand for free at the moment. New Zealand rider is Waitland. Waitland, has he got it? anything down this last straightaway? I think it's going to be Latvia at the moment. Latvia's looking good. Here comes Hussain. Hussain for the France. Latvia, France. Latvia, France. Oh, France is going to get it on the line. The French rider, I think, was the rider. Got it on the line. What a race. Here's a replay. Yeah, you could see it there. That was quite clear. Oh. We're looking to the big screen. Ladies, 13. Good luck, guys. Ready to watch the game. The current world number one wants to retain the title, and she is on the inside. Layla Walker, Lissy Van Schneedel, she is there for two for Holland, and she's won every single lap. And so is the rider from New Zealand. So who's going to come second? Who's going to come first? There's a rider from the Czech Republic, Muzo for into three. Sabina Korsakova is there at the moment, but it's looking good for the rider out in front. Layla Walker from New Zealand, Lissy Van Schneedel, she is there for two on the world number seven by, and it's Korsakova. She's looking good for three in the moment. Here comes the challenge from the Colombian in the last corner for third place but I think it's going to be another win for the rider from New Zealand the rider from New Zealand is Layla Walker that was your girl 13 final. the top three riders there but it was the rider from New Zealand who takes the win Layla Walker Did any club?
All right, it's ready. Watch the game. Looking good was the world number one on the inside. It looks like Thomas Tucker's there out in front. Australia for the number one. It's fell for two. It's Enzo Leclerc for three at the moment. And that's the way they are as they come down the second straightaway. So it's going to be Tucker, Fell, one and two. Leclerc there in three. And they can see Kawasaki from Canada in four. Kawaski's there as he comes down the third straightaway. He's still the rider from Australia. Leading this one out, the current world title holder. He wants to keep hold of that title. And it's going to be the same as last year. One and two is going to be Tucker Felt. And the rider from France was actually Leo Accard who got the third position. And you can see the replay here of the world number one just coming down. That last straight away, Felt for two. The girls 14 years. Final number six with the UCI. Yeah, we got a six-time world champion in this one. Oh, and there's a big crash coming down the first straight away. And it's looking like the Australia rider of Kira Hill taking the lead in this one. They can see Deutschland there in two, but Emma Jeffers is moving on through now. So, Jeffers, Great Britain up to two. Rosa Muller is there for three at the moment. And the rider leading this one out is Kira Hill, the world number two from last year. Here comes Emma Jeffers down the third straight away. Great Britain are going to try and bring her home, and bring home that world title at the moment. It's Hill, it's Jeffers, one and two into that last corner down the last straight what's going to happen here comes Hill here comes Jeffers it's going to be Hill taking the title Jeffers is going to be the world number two and Rosa Muller from Germany in three wow Australia wanted that badly Argentina okay and last year's world title winner okay line up on the gate girls 15 years old Good luck, ladies. All right, it's ready. Watch the gate. Anion got a great start from Lane 8, and she's up there in two at the moment. But it's the inside rider on the French rider. I think it's the 64 of uh, Capuchin Favre. Favre is leading this one out from France. We can see Anion there for two on the world number eight. But she wants the world number one. Can she jump the step up? Yes, she does. Oh, she's making moves on the French girl down the first straightaway. Here they come. Oh, the French rider's bubble. Great Britain are going to take it over. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep it together for this one. Lauren Anion, Great Britain, bring her home. She wants to be the world challenge champion. Lauren Anion, yes, gonna make it through with the one in two was Beltrando and it was uh, Favre in three. Just a bobble. Oh, wow. She was the former world champion. That's why she was back in the pack. And as you see, this is the second turn here. Favre came out of the corner. Good stuff. Girls, 16 years old. Your attention. Ready, watch the game. Who's got the pedal to take the medal? Nadine Eberhardt on a Swiss leading this one out. Bars in two, Gooses in three. But here comes the Argentina right down to the outside. It's Cavilli. Cavilli is jumping her way through. Oh, Bars and Eberhardt come together in the second turn. She went for the move, it didn't stick. Eberhardt's a bit of a unit coming down the first straightaway. She's a strong girl, and that's why she's got the number one on her plate. And she's still looking good down this last straightaway. Eberhard, she's going to win it for the second year running. The number one is going to stay on her bike. Nadine Eberhard for a Swiss. Cavalli in two. Goosens for Belgium in three. Good stuff from the ladies. She went for it, but Eberhard, she is a big girl, strong girl from Switzerland. Held her up. fiercely contested age groups here today. 70 to 24 men. Your attention. Good luck, guys.
Right, let's ready watch the game. Kevin Spanager has been training all year long for this one. He wants the title. He's the current number three in the world, but he wants to be the number one. Australia have gone down. I think it's uh, out of Hoover, is it? You know, it's Paul Deleige. Paul Deleige is there on the two spot on the 290 bike. The 290, no, it was van der Hoover. Stacky's there in three on the podium at the moment. But Spanager leading this one out. Who's it going to be in the last corner? Two Dutchies fighting out. Oh, I think Kevin Spanager's got enough space between him and the second place guy. And it's going to be the world title for Kevin Spanager. Spanager takes the win. Van der Hoover for two. Ryan Stack for three. In that first corner, you see it here on the big screen. Slid out. Just got the angles all wrong. Live to find enough of the day. Okay, ladies, 17 to 24. Ladies, good luck. Riders ready, watch the game. Riders ready, watch the game. Charlotte Green was the first to show. Stacky's going to follow it down the first straightaway. It's a bit of a turn for them, but Charlotte Green leads this one out. Green in one, Stacky two, Great Britain one and two at the moment. The French rider in three is the 98 plate. The 98 plate is Salami Ernotta. Ernotta for France is in the deuxième place position. And we can see Tamar Vedder there in four. But at the moment, it's all about the world number two becoming the world number one. Charlotte Green, she's clearing the rest of the field. Stacky's still there in two at the moment. Charlotte Green coming down the last straightaway. Great Britain makes a move to your items. Charlotte Green's going to be the world champion. Wow, 17 to 24. Stacky there for two. Salami are not for three. Good stuff from the Great Britain riders. Here you see her crossing the line. Stacky was it for second. Yeah, I think it was. And the French rider jumping the finish line. Happy to be in free, but ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Your attention for the start. 25 to 29. Good luck, guys. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the game. Really watch the game. Look at these guys go. Oh, Lisovskis has got a great start. And Robert Van der Koel's going to have to do it from the back of the pack, is he? He's in third at the moment. So, Lisovskis from Latvia leads this one out. Brazil in two. Here comes Robert down the outside on the East bicycle. Who's got the speed to take the win here? He's looking good at the moment. The 3-2-5 of Lisovskis. He's there in the front. Here comes Robin Van der Koel down the last straightaway. Who's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Here comes Robin in the last side. Yes, 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 bicycles, Robin yeah. Van der Kool. what a move, that's how you win a white title, it was absolutely clinical, good stuff from Robert. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, women, 25 and over, line up on the gate. Here, Riders, ready, Riders, ready, watch the game. Start for Rutenga, the inside rider on the one bike is Blinky Klaus, and she takes the early lead. Ortiz is in there for free at the moment. So Klaus, Rutenga, one and two. Ortiz for free. We can see a French rider in four. It's the eight play of Pauline Delamore. She is there jumping her way through the step up and into the second corner. Blinky Klaus, she wants to be the world champion for the second time running. She's looking for the title and the one play for the next year as well. It's Leaky Klaus from Holland. Ortiz from Chile has made her way through to. Two now, but, but it's, it's going to be a nice, nice win for the lady from Holland. It's Leaky Klaus. Ortiz for two, Van der Kolk for three. I think it was Rutenga, I beg your pardon. Two more finals before we crown a world champion in the Masters. But first, we have to decide that men, 30 to 34. Okay, riders. Okay, riders. Let them start. Riders ready, watch the game. Right, 
Ready to watch the game. Home shot from Scott Waterhouse on the stage. Strong looking good out in front. Waterhouse wants the world title. Here comes the Spaniard up the inside. Waterhouse leads it out the first turn and looking good down the second straight away. Waterhouse on the front of the pack. We got Spain in two with Gonzalez and we can see Argentina there in three with Bustos. But Waterhouse is looking good. He's got about three by lengths on the line from Spain. Just getting a little bit close there on the inside. He's defending his line in that last corner. But it's looking good for Waterhouse. We're going to have our second, third world title going to Great Britain with Scott Waterhouse on the stay strong. Spain for two. Latvia, I think, made his way through into three. Ozolins, but it was all about the guy on the front of the pack there. Photo finish. Waterhouse, Spain, and it was Latvia on the outside for sure. On the word of a John Black, or two of the Zodia Shams. In the inside, it's going to be Ferguson from New Zealand. Here comes Hugo Martins from Portugal on the four bike. But it's the 384 leading this one out. Tim Ferguson at the front of the pack. Martins is there for two. We've got the rider from Chile in three of Perez. And uh, Perez is being chased hard by the rider from Bolivia. It's Martinez. Here comes Martinez down the third straightaway. But who's going to take the title? Is it going to be Martins? Is it going to be Ferguson? I think it's going to be Ferguson from New Zealand. Here comes Martins down the last straightaway. Ferguson's going to hang on. Martins for two and Perez from Chile for free and your winner for today from New Zealand Tim Ferguson okay let's introduce you the Masters 30 and over championship class good luck guys Mosquito's going to come up the inside. Oh, he's not made his stick. Tyler Brown now out on his own. Mosquito is there for two in a moment. We can see uh, Doris Brink there challenging for free. And the Colombian rider coming on through. The Colombian rider is Montana. But at the moment, Tyler Brown is looking for another world title. In his back pocket is the Mosquito. And here comes the Colombian. Also chasing him down. We get Tyler Brown, ladies and gentlemen. United States of America. He's going to be the world champion here in the Masters 30 and over. Put your hands together for Tyler Brown, your Masters world champion, Suarez and Montana from Colombia. Belki de hanımlar ve canavlar son yürüyüşün galibi Masters kategoriyasında son dünya şampiyonu Tyler Brown titulunu gördü.